Hey, this is Jeff with Eternity Shore, and the boat is now on the hard. It is November 11th, 2024, and it's time to winterize the engines again. This is a Chris Craft 33 Express Cruiser, a 2004, and we have two Volvo Penta 5.7 GI engines that are 300 horsepower piece. This is the third summer that we're going to be uh, doing this ourselves. I'm going to be doing it myself. And there are definitely a bunch of different ways to do this. I'm going to remove the two drain plugs from the bottom of each of these engines and the two drain plugs from the manifolds on each of these engines. I will show you where each of these drain plugs is. Well, mine are 14 millimeter. Yours might be different. Uh, this one is the port side of the port side engine. And before you get in there, you want to make sure your your wrench is going in the right direction. Socket wrench or whatever, maybe an open wrench would be easier for you, depending upon where you're going. Sometimes there's a might be a wire or a hose slightly in the way. Oh, there you go. Now I'm going to loosen this. There you go. Regardless of how that flows, we should put a twist tie in there. Get the rest of the stuff out. Once you get everything draining, uh, what I do is I take this bracket off first, and you probably need a extending a bar to extend to do that. Take these two hoses off. I believe these are all L eight millimeter. Let me take these off and drain those out. A lot, lot of water in there. Take this hose off, which goes to the thermostat housing all the way down here. I'm also going to take this hose off right here. This is the one that goes to the electric fuel pump. Leave this one on. Okay, I took this clamp off. These hoses are not always easy to get off. Uh, you could heat them, but I wouldn't next to the uh, fuel pump. <laughs> and the, uh, so I just sprayed some water in there and uh, I'll pry it off with a, a screwdriver. It helps if you twist it as you're pulling it. So if this is on here, you want to try to twist it and pull at the same time and it'll come off nicely. Okay, now that I've gotten them off, 
the hoses off of both the engines. Notice they took it down here off. Up top here, up top there that goes to the fuel pump. Now uh, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna pour antifreeze through both the engines, come out the bottom, we should be good to go. I use this hose from the housing on the starboard side because on my configuration, this port side hose uh, has another hose attached to it. So I'll just use this for both. I'm gonna put it like that, hold that up and pour antifreeze through it and let it run out the bottom.